and welcome to the Part-Time Nerd Podcast with me, your host, Alan, and joining me today is one Mr. Rapid Dave. How are you doing today, buddy? Doing great. How are you doing? You know what? I'm doing good. Doing good. Can't complain. So we had Peacemaker drop on us. Mm -hmm. This one totally snuck up on me. I knew it was coming out, but just completely missed it. It came out. Uh, Not only did it come out, but we got the first three episodes of it. Uh, It's over there on HBO Max. What are some of your thoughts, man? You know, it started so slow. I, I was like, I can't get through this first episode. First off, we got to talk about the freaking intro. The intro is magical. Okay. The, the dancing, the choreograph. <laughs> it's freaking hilarious. I, I haven't skipped it yet. Like I skipped I, it. I was like, I'm not watching it. Once you see it once, you're good. You don't need to see it anymore. I, I need to watch it every time because it's magical. It's really amazing. Like the music's good pretty good to too. <laughs> they got a pretty good soundtrack going in this thing as well um but yeah it's the first one is kind of rough but it just gets better and better like i you, you laugh out loud several times john cena is absolutely a delight in this thing he's so i don't know if he's like a gomer or what there's something about him but he just says <laughs> he says the craziest stuff and he's serious he's like i don't know how i want to see the outtakes i want to see the, the the laugh reel and all this kind of stuff how the hell are these people keeping this stuff together you know, during scene, he's like, oh, I got a huge dick. It's huge. Yeah, like, yeah. no, no, like, like it hurts people. Like, <laughs> I have a problem with it hurting people. It's so, you know, I just, I don't know. I just thought I'd just squeeze it in there into the conversation. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that damn eagle, <laughs> he's funny as hell, too. It just, yeah, it, it, the, the whole crew that they got assembled, they seem to work well together, mesh well together. You have, you know, just, I don't know, man. Like when she's flipping through the like uh, the pictures on her iPad, like oh yeah, this is the situation we got. Here's the target, and then she flips it, and it's like a, like, it's a screen, it's a picture of her wife's oh, my- vagina. Yeah. And so yeah. She goes, oh shit! And so everybody's like, whoa! You know, they blow up. You know, it's like they're not professional at all. They're just wild asses. It's hilarious. It, 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 he drops the amazing. They're sitting there, and they finish going through it, and he's like, oh okay, so you're. No, your wife. Okay, cool. No, man, I, hey, I, I, I support it fully. He says, anyone else have any questions? Yeah, is scissoring real or has has the internet been lying to me? <laughs> like, butt baby is, I, I believe, butt baby is tall as 14. <laughs> there's, there's so many drops and it's just crazy as hell. His dad is wild, Dude, wild as hell in this movie. Just holy hell. Yeah. Like, just, <laughs> it, it's, it's so much fun. Like that that's the thing with it. And it's James Gunn who has done no wrong, right? He did the, the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, he's did uh the last Suicide Squad movie. Plus people talk about all of his other body work, but I'm just talking about his superhero stuff. It's all been great. You know, you get a movie in the, the last Suicide Squad where the DC movies have pretty much all sucked. And then he turns that out, and you're like, "Okay, I like this. This is good." Uh, I've I've felt like that for the with this, um, and I love the introduction, which I don't know if you've noticed or not. Have you stuck around for all the post credit scenes? Yeah, I've been watching them. Like, cause okay. you, you notice right. they pop up. There's something popping up there, so I'm just like, "All right, catching this, catching this." So that it's only 15 seconds generally. It's really quick. Yeah, like the first one is great. He's sitting there talking to his dad, trying to get the new helmet. He's like, "And this one here gives you scabies." Why, why, why would you want that? Well, every man should have it once, you know, to challenge yourself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that damn helmet and that, uh, whatever he's, he's getting away from this butterfly, this agent is whatever. She's meaner. She's like crazy as Ew. hell. And yeah. she's like, he finally just jumps out the window to get away from her. He crawls to his car, puts the helmet on. He's sitting there in his whitey, tidy, tidy whiteys. <laughs> I can't remember what he said to the damn helmet, but the helmet. <laughs> It just blows up everything. <laughs> like, oh shit! And he's still—he's so terrified when he's done. When he finally gets a helmet, he's so scared. He's like balled up. He's like helmet, and blah blah blah. And it just kaboom. <laughs> it's 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 just so awesome and and it's got a good story though too right like it's not just wheels off crap. It does have a story. You know, Peacemaker's really struggling with who he is as, as a hero and things like that and he's hearing all these stories that he's a racist and all this stuff and like at the very beginning where you know when he's sitting there talking to that guy and he's like man oh yeah peace man yeah you're the racist what, what no i'm not i'm not racist just look at the numbers man he's like i kill white people too just look at the numbers though bro like it's just it, i like that guy the janitor up. guy is hilarious he's been on several other shows and he is a uh, just a star I and mean, i want is. more of him because he's so funny and i'm hoping we get more because 
he is in the opening credits, right? So that kind of leads me to believe that we might get some more of him. But yeah, no, he he is awesome. I, I definitely <laughs> love him. The five minutes he's in that first episode are great. Uh, he goes, you went to, I went to MIT. And he goes, you went to MIT and you're sitting there. He goes, and you're, and you're washing the, or scrubbing the floor. And he goes, I don't like responsibility, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, shit. Like, oh my God. I mean, they just, it's such a quick and uh very high uh, the conversation they have is fast paced like it's it just is. keep I up don't know how the hell they did it <laughs> keep, keep up but it's it's awesome it's and, and vigilante is is good as well I, I like vigilante now this is a different type of version of vigilante because i watched uh arrow on cw and they had vigilante there and it was much more of a serious character but in this he's very the <laughs> Pretty much the exact opposite. He's a goofball uh, in this one. But he's uh, just <laughs> played by uh, this kid. I knew, I knew, I recognize or the voice or whatever. And then obviously, when he pulled his mask off, um, I recognize him. He's the kid. He's he's been in Harry Potter. He was, was he, one, Potter? he was going out for goalkeeper against Ron, and he has a the hots for Hermione and stuff like that. Okay, That's that, that guy. Oh man, that guy. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> he got screwed over by Hermione, and you ain't seen. You never saw him after that. Like. <laughs> He had his big tryout, and Hermione made him screw up, and he just disappeared off the face of the earth after that, man. Poor guy. <laughs> but he's funny. I love his character in this movie. He's like, just I don't know, so light and poppy. But he, he ain't taking that mask off. And like when they find the guy takes it off to ter- uh, to torture him, he starts making all these faces. He goes, "I'm just gonna keep shaking, making faces until you know, so that you get you'll never be able to recognize me. You never be able to put two and two together." <laughs> and they hook up like a battery <laughs> to his nuts. And for some reason, they got the battery hooked up to his balls. And they have John Cena, Peacemaker, over here. He's asking Peacemaker oh. questions, and he goes, I'm never going to crack, man. It's like, <laughs> he's like, why are you going to – he tells me he's going to cut off his pinky toe. Why are you going to cut off my pinky toe? Well, because he's obviously the alpha, and uh, he's the one who has all the information. So, uh, you know, I can't harm him. I got to harm you. Like – he goes to town on that pinky toe for like five minutes. He goes, I don't know why it's not, why it's not cut to He goes, because you don't take care of your equipment, man. <laughs> it's dull as hell, man. Take care of your torture equipment. Oh, God. Yeah, he's like, I'm going to cut his pinky toe. Don't cut my pinky toe off. I need it. Hell, everybody knows that. You can't stand up. <laughs> you don't have a pinky toe. You can't stand up. That's not true. It's on the internet. It's true. <laughs> so they're like going to town on him, and he's just cracking me the hell up the whole time. And Peacemaker's like, nah, bro. I'm never going to give in. And he like winks at me. <laughs> You can give him a little bit of information. Who cares? <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, it's three episodes in. I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. It's just it, it's it's just funny as hell. And I don't know. I, I expected this to be good, but I didn't I didn't expect this. Like, yeah. it's a, a laugh a minute, like you said. And, I mean, I could sit here and talk about it and laugh all freaking day long. I, I might go back and rewatch them because they were just so – I will it's say the only down part that I had is that Amanda Waller's in it for like a brief second. Brief second, because you find out her daughter is. You know, she did call her mom, right? Yeah, yeah. So she called her mom. So yeah, uh, but yeah, no, freaking hilarious. It's great. John Cena, it, he has found his role. Like this is, this is him. John Cena, the peacemaker, is Vin Diesel to Dom Toretto. That's it. That's all there is to it. He's he's forever going to be labeled as peacemaker for me, and he's absolutely crushed it. He's someone that I've seen in other movies. I'm just like meh, meh, meh. But this, yes, yes. <laughs> when he's sitting there talking to his dad, and he's you know, funny story. You know, we had this guy on this mission we were in, and he was just scared of rats. And you know, you know how he got he was scared of rats because his dad locked him in a box with 250 rats, and his dad's laughing at laughing his ass. And he looks at he goes, "That's not the guy that shot you, is it?" He's like, well, "Sorry." <laughs> You know what what happened over there in Corto Maltese is classified information. So you know it's Chad's just, just so disappointed in him, and it's just it's so great. <laughs> yeah, you, then you find out his dad is the the White Dragon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's. I saw him going jail. I'm like, okay, and they're like, oh, look who it is. I'm like, okay, yeah, this guy's. A big, and then they start doing that. I'm like, oh snap. Yeah. Um, yeah, but this yeah. is it's great. Uh, Eagly is awesome. Uh, Every, everything is awesome. I love it. I love it. I can't wait. I'm I'm sad now. I got to wait on a weekly basis to watch it. Yeah, it comes out on Thursdays if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 
something like that. Yeah, I'll have to double check. I think I think HBO Max does the Thursdays because uh, Disney Plus does Wednesdays. So, but yeah, check it out, guys. Uh, Peacemaker it's on HBO Max. First three episodes dropped. We get weekly episodes for I think there's like eight or something like that. I'm not positive, uh, but check it out, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment, follow, all that fun stuff. If there's something you want us to watch, shoot us over an email. Part time nerd podcast at gmail.com. Until next time, we'll talk to you later. Deuces.